hi everybody and I'm so happy to see you guys again and today I'm going to talk about some of the application on uh, for our the world first uh, risk uh AIPC um, the, um how do we going to use the compute so for those who don't know me I'm the founder of deep computing so we specialize in uh, making uh, consumer electronics so we actually making all those uh, very premium products for RISC V, such as consumer electronics and motor computing devices. You can see on our booth, while our uh, collaboration with frameworks, the, the modular laptop, we made motherboard for them. And last but not least, we make some fun things from the RISC V uh, of remote control car to some balloons flying around the summit. So actually, you know, for this year, we have, um, you know, since uh, the beginning, we all talk about deep seek. It's shaking the world. So, and also, um, we we take a look what what uh, actually deep seek is. It's very efficient. Uh, uh, enables now you can run deep seek a very small model, very accurate model on the local deep the device for the these two models. And then uh, we have a very um, lower uh, compute cost on it. So, so that's where we are. So when, once we have the local device, we can now have a fast, faster inferencing, and then and we walk towards post training as well possible. So we can do a lot of things. So and um, the and in for for example, we we can do a multiple. If one device is not enough, we can connect to another device. Uh, we use in Nama CPP, we can connect all these devices and all the ports. So and and the journey of a risk is very hard. And 2024, we mainly sorting out the OS uh, distribution for Linux uh, for risk five support. And then we get very good support from Ubuntu from this year. We get uh, uh, the approval to to Ubuntu to to, to host our image for us. So for all our uh, deep computing uh, related risk five motherboards. So and Linux kernel support from all the fellows from um, uh, Teal, uh, uh, from Conarico, from Grad, uh, you know, and and Linux itself. So now you know Ubuntu official support 2025. So and for for RVA23, Ubuntu can support all the way to 202510. And from 24.04 onward, we they only support RVA23. So, and let's wait for a look forward to our, our RISC V RVA23 chipsets. And yeah, Fedora support. And 47, same. You, you have, they only support for RVA23. They're all pending for our RISC V server to get, uh, get uh, Red Hat to build a Fedora image. So what is the AI application? So we talk about do the AGI, video, audio, and all these things, and web application as well, similar to uh, you building a web application, a chatbot, or whatever, talking to the, the local computers. And as well as we do a lot of coding on our device, so you're going to see our VS Code, how to use the local computer to generate codes. And possible gaming console, we are part of with Playtron and to get um, uh, get them some AI games around and, and on our laptop as well. So that 2005, we are all about application. Last but not least, okay, I didn't mention it until I see Embedded World. I see some very cool FATA applications from automotive, great, Linux plus ICS guys, do a great uh, demo on their booth. Everything's running fast for automotive. And and we will talk about more about um, our risk five support. So it, it, it is a very, very exciting year in 2025, all about applications. So how developer going to use a local compute, right? You either with a local uh, web API, uh, hosting with uh, Node.js and then and then at the end talking to the engine. So and then uh, everything can talk to the local web service API. Or we can do something fancy uh, on the browser side. You can uh, make them some API called Web GPU, Web LLM, whatever you know, uh, 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 TensorFlow JS API, and we might be able to make some FATA APIs, right? So and we all talk about AIs. 
for example, now we are part up with a VLC, and and in um in the confidential, we can distribute the media content. Is you know, they they have a a uh, hundred million downloads in the Ninja Distro, so they we can optimize their model running on a local device. That means that when you see a video content, you have all the subtitle loud in embedded world with a lot of language with Germans, with uh uh, uh you know. Come on, European have 32 countries or 40 countries, 40 languages. So you have all different subtitles locally. And then you have, if you have an airphone, you possibly have a, a translated uh, audio coming out. So it's a definitely the way forward of uh, using the local computers. And as I say, VS Code is going to, uh, uh, VS Code is uh, electron based, it's a web service uh, editor. So they're going to talk to some of the JS API all the way down. Uh, to use our local computers. So, and yeah, last but not least is uh, Flutter. We, we, you know, I leave to a, a great ICS guy to, to make some Flutter API, talk to the computer. Chrome, you know. Chrome is going to get out of Google version as the core case coming in. So Chrome will be separate. So they might have to uh, invent some some API, go all the way, talk down to the, the computer at TensorFlow.js. So yeah, as as I said before, we are part of with Playtron and the Box 64. We should be able to run some uh, x 4 games and then all the way and with AI feature on the, the laptops. So let's take a look at AI portfolios. So we are part of uh, deep computing mainly this year's part of with framework. So we have a lot of exciting product coming out with all the different risk five motherboards. So you can see very exciting. We have a 12 inch uh, uh, coming out, we have a desktop, we have a 13 inch of 16 inch. You can see the 16 inch, you will have a super duper AI computer, probably around 200 tops. I don't know, God knows what it is, you know. You know, but it's, it's exciting. It's a, it's a ha hardware ecosystem that we can put loads of risk file on it. So this is the first one. I think uh, we make it for, for the 13 inch, 13 inch A core, up to two gigahertz and then and possible 128 gig and or 60 gig whatever you know with a 50 tops ai compute gpu cpu weather processor and code that you can you can name about it it's very cheap very affordable so it's the best one so far i can compare uh with arm space we can reach we can beat um uh on any of the arm soc except Qualcomm, okay, ah, Qualcomm is not ARM anymore, but anyways. And you think a lot, we're gonna make up a very good motherboard. I haven't defined how many tops on it yet, so it might be 200 tops with uh, half terabyte of uh, DDR on it. And then if one is not enough, you can connect it all up with, uh, I might put a fiber on it, so you can connect it out with, uh, you have a local computer on your home and running through block of uh, uh, DeepSeek. So, and say goodbye to um, uh, the web service subscriptions. So, but you need to buy a lot of hardware, risk five hardware. So, very exciting, you know. That's just an example. The cheapest one is probably 400, 700. So, this is even more exciting. It's a, 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 16, lap, a 16 inch laptop. They have a, a PCIe extendable, and I partner up with the the company called Open Vision Tech. They they designed the whole um, uh, redesigned the whole flow of the the uh, frameworks laptops uh, PCI, PCIe module. So we can put a lot of uh, computers here with a lot of air. So I haven't designed uh, how many tops are near yet, but it's very exciting. So it's going to be very busy for, for deep computing ourselves to build all these AI computers. So that, that's all, I think that's all for today, I guess. That's probably about it. Thank you very much.